Uh, these might feel like they're on pretty loose. Just wanted to show you this that when it's when it actually goes over it, um, it's not like it clicks onto it. I mean, right there was already you can see the spring in there is already grabbing the whole plug, and it's really loose. I mean, that's just okay. So once you're back in there, just click it back into place. Just make sure that it's firm there. Moving on to the next plug, same process, just taking it out, moving it out by hand. A little squeaky here, but being very careful. And I'm changing these one by one, so this this one's already been replaced, and that way you don't have everything out and a chance for dirt or anything to get inside this, uh, you know, down into the engine, so. Uh, that's the way I like to do it is just change them out one by one and I already shot uh, compressed air down in here so same process as the first one just moving down each row thunder and lightning so got all the uh, new coil on plugs in there as well so this side is done, everything's been torqued down and uh, using anises and also the uh, dielectric grease. We're all done on this side so we're just going to put these coil covers back on and install our bolts. On the passenger side it's going to be the same process, however we do need to remove the air intake system in order to get uh, underneath here. Uh, we're just going to undo this screw right here to loosen up this band and pull the intake off of the throttle body, disconnect it here, um, and disconnect it here on the other vacuum lines. Um, be careful not to mess around too much with the mass airflow meter and, and all this area. Uh, if, if you can, leave them installed exactly how they are so you're not changing anything. Okay, so I just loosen this and pull it out of the way and they can be a little stubborn as they attach to these, especially these aftermarket throttle bodies. Some of them have a pretty nice lip here. Um, I disconnected this hose just by pulling it off and I'm going to leave this here, put some paper in here to keep anything from getting in there. Uh, next I, pushed, I pulled this off and just pushed the tab in. Same with this one. That's uh, just going to give this a little more flexibility and move, uh, room to move around. Um, I didn't move the sensor itself, didn't twist this any, so everything should go back on exactly how it is. Um, but from here I'll probably either undo it here or here just to get this intake tube out of the way. So on the air intake system here, I'm just going to remove these four bolts and that way it'll plug in exactly where it was. If I loosen this one up, it might twist things around, so uh, this is probably the better option. So I have an 11 millimeter socket here, uh, which may be specific to this intake. And then I have uh, the Allen that's going to go into the back of it. So I'll just remove all four of those. Okay, so now with the air intake system out of the way, we'll just do the same thing, take out these 8mm bolts, remove the coil cover, and uh, start pulling plugs. I already came in here with this straw attached to this as well, but once again I'm just blowing out any debris that might be in here. But it's uh, actually pretty clean. Once again, um, I've threaded this one by hand. I'm now inserting the new plug after I pulled the old one out. And uh, just remember to be centered so you're not down or up or, or whatnot. It's in there hand tight right now, but you want to go into it um, very straight. Make sure that you're not cross-threading it. And do it by hand as much as you can. Don't uh, be driving it in with a wrench as soon as you get it started. You want to make sure that uh, you're not cross-threading anything. Now this next part's a little tricky because you have the throttle body here that's uh, right above that next hole. 
Um, there's a few things you can do. You can either take the throttle body off or, um, you know, on my brother's bullet Mustang, it's a two valve motor, uh, the intake manifold goes over there and there's not really too much you can do about it. So, um, what you can also do, as you can see here, I just took two smaller extensions plus our new, uh, socket with the new spark plug. Okay. And this way I'm getting it down in here and I'll show you here. Uh, what it looks like So as you can see the uh, extensions are now down here, and it's not in the way of the throttle body Because uh, what you do not want is To be cross threading it because you can't get a straight shot on it So either take the throttle body off or use a different set of uh, extensions like this So as you can see um my extension's barely touching the throttle body, and it's a pretty good straight shot, though it still is, uh, looks like it's going in very straight. But since I've threaded it down all the way, I already know I'm not cross-threading it. Okay, and then I'm just paying attention to make sure that there's no torque variation since I'm up against the throttle body. But you can take the throttle body off if you want, but on uh, some applications, if you can't get down there, this is what you pretty much have to do. Um, and remember if you're using a U-joint, a little bendy socket to get down in there, then uh, the torque ratings might not be quite as accurate. So, you know, um, just see what you have to do. Okay, now you always want to return the torque wrench back down to zero if you want it to maintain its accuracy. Okay, and then be really careful when you're getting to the end here. Do not try to turn it any farther than it will go. That's how you break these. Okay, so I've gone through one by one and all of uh, the new spark plugs are in and uh, my new coil packs. Everything else is uh, ready to go. We're ready just to put the coil covers back on and put on the intake and everything should be good. Okay, everything's back together. Uh, this is tightened back down. We have our vacuum hose back in its place, our breather here that's also into its place. All the sensors have been plugged back in and everything's uh, back where it was. Everything's been torqued down so we're ready to start it up.